you so, racers. What am I thinking? Okay, my last high level cross country race was like, I don't know, seven or eight years ago before I switched to like long distance racing. <laughs> but it's local. Thought I'd give it a shot, signed up, but signed up last minute. No USA cycling points. So I am starting dead last. Let me just show you what it's like at the back of a high level cross country race. See all these people. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really, really sweet. Oh, this is gonna be so dumb. All right, so here's the course. I've done a couple laps now. The course is actually really fun by yourself with a group could be pretty sketchy with some rain actually a bit dangerous on some of the steep downhill sections but anyway it starts here at Bear Creek Resort in McCungee Pennsylvania the course has a very deceiving 644 feet of climbing feels like a thousand but starts out here at the start finish area goes up that steep hill we just saw traverses this really rocky uh, short descent and then does a prolonged climb that climbs all the way up to the top of the mountain on double track, slick, rooty single track. Does this uh, switch back where you have a couple line options. And then you get up to the top of lift A. We go through uh, the mounds, these rock piles, through the trees, really fast, drop across the ski slope, build up a ton of speed, and then enter the heckle pit where you have this straightaway section with huge slab rocks, huge tombstone shaped rocks jagging out of the ground everywhere this bridge with chicken wire on it. Um, you drop down through the ski slope on one uh, extra loop for the pros. This loop here, the A loop is extra for the pros. It does this really steep, uh, a blind drop in, uh, two blind drop ins, and then traverses across the ski slope for this climb right here. This climb right here is about a thousand feet long, 20% grade, super brutal. Your arms are completely bent trying to um, stay nose over the front wheel and yeah, it goes up to 22% grade. So super nasty section of the course. Uh, the actual hardest rock section is the 180 degree pinch, bunch of rocks. You got to shift down and climb up through the heckle pit. You get this uh, really nasty straightaway of rocks after the chicken wire bridge. And then you've got the pinch, the left hand turn, technical traverse, a little bit of climbing. I mean, that's going to be really, really uh, influential on the race but I don't think it's the kind of thing that can win you the race. It's the kind of thing that can lose you the race. So the people at the front are gonna to have to be um, really on point. I'm gonna just try to stay out of trouble because I have no ACL on my left knee and doing this thing in general is so much. But I think we can get through five laps in that. This bottom section is super fun, nice berms, good technical swales, um, rhythm sections, but it's rocky. I mean, you ride this course you know, probably half of the course you ride with a dropper post down and you're negotiating some sort of tricky terrain. So very physical course, uh, fun course, and a very bad course to start last place. Yep, and here's the proof. I signed up pretty last minute for this one. Just kind of like a dumb idea. Pluck me in here. Dead last. <laughs> oh boy. All right, doing my final checks. This race to start at 345 is killing me. I've been sitting in this chair with Conrad over here and Mark for ages. But finally, we are ready to go. We got the Canyon Lux dialed, chain lubed. Tire pressure is, seems like pretty good. Maybe I'll just put a gauge on it real quick. I'm gonna go warm up, but not too long. It is about 90 degrees with heat index. Fortunately, there's a little bit of cloud cover. Goal for the day, smooth and fast. You know, I have no ambitions for placing. No idea what the, uh, the formal hole, but it'll be really good to prepare for the snowshoe UCI Marathon World Series race that's coming up this fall. So I think it'll have kind of a, a real purpose within the race, just being a good time.
All right, so boys and girls, this is what happens when you don't have any USA Cycling points and you sign up for a cross country one week at a time. You end up back here. You see all this space. For I'll get through. Finish. I'll get through a few people. We'll have a fun race. We'll uh, see what we can do. Oh, you can move up, right? Ready for Carver Rocket Racing. Welcome to Mark Franz. And riding for Canyon Bikes out of Harrisonburg, Virginia. Welcome to 16 time U.S. national team member Jeremiah Bishop. Hey. All right. So. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for our Pro Men's National Championship Checking out the start. field. Riders, welcome to... Go, Jeremiah. Definitely melting a little bit. Pretty fucking hot out here. Let's see if we can make up a few spots. Big downhill. Here we go. Pretty super smooth though. No flats on this one. Flatting does you no good. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, last lap I gained like 30 seconds on this downhill, only to flat and lose two minutes. So, lessons. Show you my line here. Actually, go high there. Burn that rock. Oh, wow, big daddy. Yeah, Jerry. Woo! Just plug the tire here. Man, that heckle pit was so, so incredible. Can't even describe it. But uh, here I am, fixing a flat. I'll put this CO2 on here, and I'll be going. Might even get to ride with Chris Blevins for a minute or two. He passes me. But man, holy cow, what a scene. I mean, I'm so glad I raced. Just to experience that noise, kind of brought me back to the good old days. Yep. yep. Hopefully this thing's not punctured already. Oops. It's oh, I better limp to the feed zone. Try to get some air from a nice guy with a floor pump. Dang, I didn't expect that to be the case. Well, 
at least I get to show you the track. Just got some air for the neutral tech zone. So I'm back in there. There he is right here. This is Jeremiah Bishop riding for Canyon. Recovering from that mechanic we just had. Hey, how do you know that? We know everything, JB. We're everywhere. You <laughs> hear us everywhere. On the climb. You'll hear us on the descent. All right. Keep tearing it up out there, Mr. Jeremy. I'll be close to make the 80% rule. I have to hammer this one. Like it's last. There's such a gap. I got into the top 20, but right after that, stopping the flat, there's this huge gap in the field. Is this the 45 plus race? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. You got it. Keep going. Keep going. Nice. That's it. Nice. That's all good. You sure? Yeah, I might. Yeah. One to go. So let's push. Get to show you these berms. Really cool section. At the bottom here, I didn't have any air in my tires last time, but super fun. Downhill is more tiring than the uphill.
Okay, last one, right? Last one. Push it. Keep it on, dude. Ah, pretty stuck. Not getting pulled. I'll see if I can catch a few folks and enjoy this last lap. What a privilege, really. Super cool. Still do this. Appreciate it. Keep it up, buddy.
I reached in for the CO2 and the seat bag, and I guess I had spent it. Right. It's been a long time since I used one. <laughs> not bad. I even had a good sprint at the end. Yeah. That guy like, cut me off like three or four times. <laughs> uh, I was riding stronger, but he knew if he would like wait it out enough. And then I rode up on the bank to get some speed, and he cut me off again. <sighs> not quite ready for uh, BMX. Uh, short track racing, but cross country I did pretty damn good today. Thank you. Right on, what was great? Still going on. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 47? 45. 45. Okay, so I'm technically the oldest. Did you race? Still going on. You were fan favorite for sure. Really? Yeah. No, oh, cool. No, no. Everyone's like, <laughs> the heckle pit was insanity. Did I you know. get some audio from that? Yeah. What the, what the heck? It's like probably. Oh, it's gonna sound so cool. It's all about these. I was gonna get knocked <laughs> off the bike with sound. <laughs> yeah. Like a wall oh, of whoa, sound. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Thank you.